Okay, a little story. <laughs> when I was setting up my the space to record, I plugged in. I'm playing my acoustic guitar, but I'm running it through uh, my interface because this mic doesn't pick up like the room sounds very well. It's not meant to. It's supposed to be like my voice, which is great. Um, I'm not complaining. Anyways, when I plugged it in, I was going to grab something else in the living room, and I didn't push it the the, the quarter inch all the way in. And I remember saying to myself don't forget that that would be unfortunate and then I did two or three takes in the third take I was so satisfied I I liked it like I could tell halfway through I was like this is the take and Isabeau don't botch it by getting too excited that this is the take and then you kind of pressure yourself and you flub and make a mistake anyways got through the whole song liked it talk story at the end you'll see it at the end of this video and then went to listen back to it, and um, I didn't push the instrument cord in. The freaking quarter inch was halfway out of the, the interface and just didn't record anything. And it's absolutely my fault. I did that. So let's try again. My goodness, Isabel. Okay. My goodness, my goodness. Okay. What's this bang doing? That's weird. You're like, whatever. I used to stay up on the off chance that you might call me back. I used to go shopping for pay, go through pictures, it's all I had. I'd sift through all memories and live there even when I wasn't sad I used to, I used to, but now I don't do that You used to be able to dictate each feeling inside my head Drag me through every trauma over and over again Cause if I was crazy, then I'd still be yours, I'd always come back You used to be able to, now you don't do that What used to hurt, doesn't hurt anymore What used to work, doesn't work Just true, it's not even brave, can't be a new person. 
Sometimes when I'm editing, I don't have enough room on my computer to <laughs> to export all the videos or audio tracks or edit the audio tracks. So then what I have to do is I have to go through and decide which old projects I want to erase or make sure my external drive I've organized it so that I can move things over so that I have space to work on my computer. What I'm thinking is in the last video that I thought I recorded my audio, I said what I meant to say. And I mean, it wasn't perfect. And I'm pretty sure I complained about it halfway through that I was rambling, but I finally got it out what I meant to say. And I'm nervous that if I try it again now, I'm just going to be so dissatisfied with it because it's like the second shot at something that like, I don't, I don't have an outline that I'm working off of. So everything's going to feel like it's not, it's missing the mark. Do I want to try it again? Do I want to try it again? Um. Hi, it's been a while. I think I say this after every recent video. So the last maybe five to seven videos. If I talk at the end, I'm usually saying something like, Hey, long time no see. I'm sorry I've been so inconsistent. I think the first year of COVID, I locked, first year and a half, I locked in and I was like, I'm going to take advantage of, the, of this time where at first life was at a standstill and then life and movement and work just got rearranged and somehow just needed to be arranged because it wasn't functional for everyone. But after whatever that length of time, that season of me pivoting, doing more videos or just feeling stoked to have something consistent, you all, to write songs and processes for or cover these songs. And then I think somewhere along the line, I don't know where the time mark, timestamp is, but um, I got tired. I realized I was sad. And I say that kind of just casually, but um, I'd been trying to remain really flexible and mindful that the circumstances that I was in were not necessarily the worst they could be. So I was using most of my energy, my creative energy on other projects that really had nothing to do with music, but that partnered me with people and communities that um, I felt compelled to be with and around and taking care of. And then when I had an opportunity to come back and start recording more music here, and then the world started opening up, maybe playing more out live with my solo stuff with the band, I just realized that I felt like I was kind of my rhythm for practice, writing, um, and then sharing it both in finished stages, but also in preliminary, like, just came out of my mouth. I got, like, knocked off my rhythm, and then trying to get back into it, realized I, I'm having a lot, mm, it's a lot more difficult than it was before, and I don't know all the reasons for it. I think some of it is just when you have a discipline that you're locked into, the momentum helps you remain consistent. But then there's also some internal stuff and then external in my family and community that uh, that was stirring and changing in a way where uh, this discipline felt some more barriers to it. I say all that, not to say that I'm done with YouTube, but more as an explanation. Not an excuse, just an explanation because I have every intention for this to be more consistent because this YouTube world was like it's the OG it's the original place where I was first started using an online platform to to share my songs and my renditions of songs my stories my blogging my processes 
um, so many, not so many, it sounded, it's not an area, many of the people locally who I've met, who I've collaborated with, who've come out to shows, musicians and not, those across the ocean who I've connected with on YouTube and gone over to Patreon, we've done collaborations, like, so much of it has started with YouTube.